Hey guys, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I find Spookwood. Now, if you guys don't know what Spookwood or Sinister Wood is, it is the rare type of wood that comes out on Halloween. Um, it only comes out during October, but and it is extremely rare. Sinister and Spookwood are can spawn anywhere in the map, and they have a spawn rate of uh ridiculousness i should just say um so if you don't know what a spook tree looks like this is what a sp average spook tree look like they'll be black and usually uh spread out like this now if and then they have a bottom inside that look like this it's actually a it's a very rare wood you've probably seen it hundreds of times in lumber tycoon and wonder where the heck they got that well now you know it only spawns in october now like it says here, it is a very interesting spawn setup. You want to know why it's very interesting though? It's very interesting because it can spawn <clears throat> anywhere. It can spawn on the ground. It can spawn any anywhere. It can spawn so like, like it can it just can spawn anywhere. And then sinister wood is the other type of wood that is also only Halloween during only Halloween. Now it's the only difference between this. And sinister wood, I mean, spook and sinister wood. The sinister's got a different texture on the outside, but sinister wood is roughly a hundred times more rare to find than spook wood. It is still got it's got an orange texture. It's a very cool. You've probably also seen it, but it's got a hundred times more rarity. So, <clears throat> with that going on, you guys now know what sinister and spook wood is. I'm going to show you how I find it. So, you want to go into a Roblox server. I'm gonna search about 25 in a day before I give up. So we're here. All right. Now, hold on a second. <coughs> we're gonna go ahead and open up a save. Um. So right off the bat, looks like there's been a lot of people here. I always check every server, no matter if there's people with millions of dollars or if there's people with no money, just because of the fact that somebody could have missed it. Somebody may not even have noticed it. Somebody may have already gotten it. So, for Spookwood and Sinister Wood, I'm going to say it's just Spookwood, just for the instance of the video. But for Spookwood <clears throat> and Sinister Wood combined, only one tree can spawn per server. And that server has to be at least 17 to 25 hours old or older. It cannot be younger. So, w with that being... Only one can spawn per server. It also means that only one can grow per server. And usually, for a sinister tree to grow, it usually grows after one full growth time. For instance, if you have a tree that grows after 17 hours of the server being open, cool. But as soon as you cut down that tree, another one will not start growing until three hours after that one's cut down, roughly. So for finding tree, spook trees and sinister trees, it's extremely rare. Not to mention, from recent studies, only 1 out of 25 servers, partially, have a chance of a spook tree spawning. And it's even more rare for sinister trees. Looks like this guy might be hacking over here. He's got blue logs and shit over here. I doubt it, but at the same time, he's got pretty little bit nothing for that. But either way, so they're extremely rare to find. So what I'll usually do is you can either, you can drive around the map. So spook trees and sinister trees can spawn anywhere around, along here, anywhere. I'm pretty sure they can spawn over here too. I don't remember if they can spawn over here. But they can spawn in the swamp. They can spawn anywhere. You can drive around the, uh, you know, map looking for it. What I usually do is I have this sky bridge, which is actually very useful for this. What I'll usually do is I'll go to the top of the sky bridge. I will then go from over here. And I will sneak my peek over this way. Slowly examining all of the land. If they're on the if it's on the cliffs, you should be able to see it a lot better. But I will slowly examine it. So I saw something. So I, I don't see anything yet. Try to check over here as much as you can. 
Usually if I spawn over here, I'll drive right up to there, but since I didn't, it's not gonna I'm not gonna do that today right now. I might do that in a different uh server. But keep looking. Just don't see anything. They also can spawn on top of the volcano, so you wanna make sure you glance up there. Glance all really good in all these curves and edges. You want to glance around in here, see if you can see anything in here. Glance on the cliffs up here, see if you can see any, like, shadows of a tree at all. I don't see any shadows of a tree. You want to check over here. So we might not find one today. At the same time, the server also might have been rigged. Somebody else might have gotten it already. It might not even be that old of a server. We don't know. That's what it makes it more rare to find these trees. So I still don't see any over here at all. You can check these islands too. Still don't see any. Um, yeah, so we're gonna move on to a different server. So once again, they are very rare. They can spawn anywhere. So we're gonna open up a new server. Also, what do you think of my background? I don't know. Um, once again, they can spawn anywhere. I got lucky yesterday and I did find one. Now it was, okay, this is the same exact server, so I'm gonna leave. Um, no, but so like yesterday I did get lucky and I did find one. It wasn't a very big one. It was still a good size for, it was like a three, uh, three spike, whatever you wanna call it. It had three spikes on it in total. It could have been a lot bigger. It could have branched out if I would have waited, but it was in an open area. It was right on this rock that I found it. Like I said, it was in an open area. Somebody else already saw me at it and came over and looked at it and was wondering what I was doing with it and was wondering if I could take it. So I figured my best bet was just to take it and just to be happy with it. Um, but no, spook trees can take up to three hours and 20 minutes to grow. So after you find one, if it's only got a couple things on it, if you leave it for an hour or two, or if you watch it for an hour or two, it can grow bigger. The risk of doing that, if somebody sees it and you're AFK or if you're not paying attention, they'll probably grab it. And that's the big risk. Especially with being in the open like that. I did AFK for 20 minutes to let it grow a little bit more. But like I said, with it being such an open area and already somebody else knowing it's there, I took it no one but no one to know better um you've been wondering I've been playing this game for about four years if you can tell by my base which is pretty big um these are all um oh yeah by the way if you guys are looking for some new pumpkins right now at Bob's shack they got these new jack-o-lanterns they are called the Bor boreal pumpkin ice and pumpkin I think they're pretty cool um Yep. So I have a shop actually if you can tell right here it's a big shop you got all these you got display cases all sorts of stuff This is construction that I'm doing for my bridge up there because I'm actually trying to make this up So this bridge goes to Goldwood and this one it's going to Palmwood, but it's nowhere near done But yes, that's me. Um, I Am trying to make more videos if you guys are wondering. I know I've made it here a couple I mean a few couple here and there uh, now that I have the availability of a webcam and a mic actually, it's a lot easier to make videos. So once again, we're going to go to the top of our bridge. Should spawn up there so we can click, should, hold on a second. Is it just me? Or do you guys see that right there? That, ladies and gentlemen, is a spook tree. I guarantee you. That is a spook tree. Holy shit. Second server of the day and we found a spook tree. So, now we just gotta figure out how we're gonna get there and how we're gonna get it home. That is definitely a spook tree, guys. Holy shit. Sorry for the cussing. I do not usually find spook trees that quick. More or less, that's quick. It doesn't look very big. But it is definitely a spook tree. So, our best bet is to get our spawner base over here, get our sled. So, if you didn't know, you can use the sled to kind of fly. We're gonna go up there and we're gonna go 
drive over here, take a picture with our spook tree, and take it home. Um, I think we're gonna actually went down AFK. It's kind of in a hidden spot. We could AFK there for an hour or two, as long as I make sure. The only risk of that, the only risk of AFK is that it could possibly, I could possibly get disconnected. Someone else could possibly see it while I'm AFK and snatch it out of my feet without realizing. Those are the two big things that I worry about when I'm uh, AFK. But I think what I'll do, for in this instant, is depending on the size of it, I'll either AFK at it and let it grow and then take it. Or, depending on how big it is, if it's already over three spikes, if it's on its fourth or fifth, I'll take it and then we'll continue looking for more. This might be a shorter video than expected. Then again, like I said, these sky bridges are extremely useful when finding spook trees. You can use it to glance over all of the land. And even at night, even if it's harder to see, you may not be able to see into the tagabiome over there or the main land very well, but you can see all of the edges of the cliffs and all of the edges of, of the mountain sides. You can see if there's any remnants of tree on there. Just like this one where I just saw, I just glanced at it. Just very visit, like shortly glanced at it and I saw remnants of a tree. Like I said, usually I don't get this lucky. So we got our axe on us. Um, if you're asking why I have this on us, it's usually just uh, some um, mark or, I usually keep this on me, especially right now for this season, for the reason of um, if you do find a spook tree and you don't want someone else to get it, you can just mark it because I'm pretty confident that you cannot chop down someone else's tree that if they mark it, last I checked. So we're gonna do, we're gonna spawn a truck in. I'm gonna make sure my base is on private quick. I don't want anybody visiting me because the last thing I want is them to access the sky bridge and come find me. So I just remembered, I need this light. I actually, we're gonna try something. Supposedly there's a glitch where you don't need this one. You can use your ax to ax wall climb. Uh, you guys are gonna learn a couple things today, which is awesome. So if, if it is a spook tree, I'll come back and I'll show you a couple things, but we'll just leave it there. There is not very many people here and we're the richest in the server, so I'm not too worried. So apparently there's a glitch where if you drop your ax, if it will let me drop it. Oh, backspace, whoopsie, my bad. I feel like an idiot. Um, Apparently, if you go, apparently you go like this and you go like this, you try to you grab your axe. Apparently, I they might have patched it. Oh wait, I thought I was doing it for a second. They patched it. All right, so we do need to go get the sweat. So I can show you this next cool trick. I'm just gonna drive like a crazy man because I don't care. Um, we have to go get the sweat. So. I'm sorry, I'm just still in belief that we already found a spook tree. It's my second server of the day. I never get this lucky. Yesterday took me about 13 to 14 servers, I think. And the reason I said 25 servers that we're gonna search today, because usually what I found out is that usually it's one out of 25 servers will have a spook tree. That if they're 17 hours old. And that's still a big number to figure it out. Um, once again, finding a spook tree already today amazing um so either way over here we have our sweat so if you didn't know you take one of your signs you know the sign that says sold to you property uh if you don't know what sign i'm talking about this is the sign i'm talking about the sold to for me it's sold to poke the pro that's because it's my name for instance you take your sold to sign you lay it on here like this right you want to sit on the middle of it so then you want to save it the reason you do that is it glitches it into the sled, which makes you have the ability to do this. It makes it so you can fly with it. So the reason that's so cool though is because you can use this sled to fly up cliffs and all sorts of stuff. For instance, we're gonna use it to go and fly up to the spook tree right now. So we're gonna put it into our uh, truck. And then we're gonna go to the spook tree. So we're gonna get into the slide, fly up here. Like I said, guys, it's a pretty nice, neat trick. You can use it to fly, all sorts of stuff. 
Ooh. Hold on, okay. Alexa, cancel alarms for today. It's 12.30 p.m. Currently, Alexa, in downtown. turn off my alarms. Cancel which alarm? Every day at 12.35 p.m. Every day at Alexa, off. <laughs> my bad, guys. Um, if I don't cut that out of the video, my bad, guys. Um, either way. So, we are almost to the spook tree. This truck should be plenty for the truck. I mean, for the tree. I'm sorry, I'm just so hyped. Uh, if you guys ever find spook trees, send me clips of it. Send me pictures in the chat. Or hit me up. Let me know. Um, you can literally see it from here now. It is not very big. We're going to probably let it AFK. But that is a spook tree, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. To be honest, I have not spelled... Like, this is the second spook tree I've found in a long time. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to park like this just for the easy ability. I'm going to go ahead and take the sled up there. There it is, guys. This is a spook tree, guys. So, once again, I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this. Just for my viewers right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and AFK here for who knows how long. And, well, if you can tell by the way I just cut, it is definitely a spook tree. Alright, I want to say thank you all for watching. I hope you guys had a great video. You guys hopefully can find spook trees. I hope we might find another one today, depending on how long I decide to let this one AFK. But either way, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.